It's your coach, Misfit Britt. What's up? What's up? Let me see some hearts when you guys come on in. Let me make sure we are all set. Hey, Facebook. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Instagram. We are live right now on Facebook and on Instagram. Facebook, let me know if you guys can see and hear me okay. Let me see some hearts when you come on in. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? Welcome to day one of our Shift Me Transformation Challenge. Let me see those hearts when you come on in. It's your coach, Miss Fit Brit. I want everybody to show some love when you come on in. All right, let me see. Let me see those hearts. Let me see those hearts. Let me see those hearts. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Let me just rewipe my screen off a little bit. I want to make sure we are all good. <laughs> all right. I want to know how you all's Thanksgiving was. Put in the comments. Put in the comments what you ate for Thanksgiving dinner. Put in the comments. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Let me see in those comments what you ate. Hey, Sonya. Hello, hello, beautiful. Sonya, did I miss your birthday? Please make sure I did not miss your birthday. Let me let me see those hearts when you guys come on in. Come on in, ladies. Make sure you tag someone. I want you guys to tag a friend, tag a mom, tag a sister. Tag someone who is ready to shift. All right, are you guys ready to shift with me? Let me see if we are on with Instagram. Hold on one second. Let me make sure we are live with Instagram as well. All right, let's see who's coming on in here. Hey, Alberta. Hey, Shaniqua. Hello, hello, beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I am so excited for today. I have been waiting for this day. This is the time for us to shift, all right? Again, it's your coach, Miss Fit Britt. I am your transformation coach. Ladies, I am here to help you. I work with ladies that are in the ages of 30s to 50s and up, transforming your mind, your body, and your soul. I am live right now on Facebook and Instagram. This is our day one of the Shift Me Transformation Challenge. So I thank you guys for jumping on. I thank you all for just wanting to receive all right, this message that I have for you today, because I'm telling you, it is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, you guys. Um, it looks like our live on Instagram is acting up on us. So if anybody's on Instagram, let's see if we can have everybody shift over to Facebook. Oh, so sorry. But let's see who else is coming on in here. Let me see those hearts when you come on in. Let me see those hearts. Everybody share this live. Share, share, share. Tag someone, share this live, share this live right now. Before we get started, we do not want to miss anybody, all right? If you know somebody who is ready to shift, please tag them. Please share this live, all right? I have some amazing things, all right, in store for you for these next three days, you guys. It's going to be crazy. All right, let me look at the comments and see who is on as well. Hey, Tamika. Hey, Robin. I got my misfits in the building. Oh, you guys, I'm so grateful. I woke up this morning with so much gratitude. All right. Are you all grateful today? Put in the comments, I am grateful. Put in the comments, I am grateful. I see Sharon just tagged and shared. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you for sharing this live. Ladies, come on, come on in here. Come on in here. We're going up, we're going up. We're at 21 right now. Ladies, let's get this live to 50. Come on, let's go. Tag, share, tag, share before we get started, all right? We are shifting the atmosphere. So right now, as you guys are entering in, let me see those hearts. Let me see those hearts, all right? Let me see those hearts. Put in the comments what you are grateful for. Put in the comments right now what you are grateful for before we begin. Hey, Angela. Angela Oliver is in the house. Hey, Francis. Francis is now one of our newest teammates, Francis. Welcome to the team, Francis. Hey, Danny. Hello, beautiful. How was you all's Thanksgiving? Hey, Tia. 
As you guys are coming in right now, I want you guys to make sure that you share this live. Share this live before we get started. Right now, we are setting the atmosphere. So I want you guys to grab a pen and a piece of paper, all right, or a notebook right now. Grab your journal, grab a pen, all right? This is going to be a time for me and you to talk. Ladies, we are talking today, all right? So grab a pen, grab a notepad, Hey, Mona. Hello, my beautiful sister. Hey, Roger. Share this live. Share this live before we get started. I was actually going live on Instagram as well, but my second device is wants to act up on me. But that's all right. We are live on Facebook right now. So share this live. Hey, sis. Hey, Sierra. You guys, I am super excited for what God is doing right now. Like, it is bananas. Share this live. We are going up. We are going up. We are at 30. We are at 30 right now. Let's get it to 50 and above. Share this live. All right. Before we get started right now, I want you to put in the comments what you are grateful for as we kick off this day one, you guys, of our Shift Me Transformation Challenge. All right. As you're writing what you're grateful for, I also want you to put in the comments, I'm ready to shift. I am ready to ship. If you are ready to ship, put I am ready to ship, you guys. Hey, Kylie, we're coming on in. Let me see those hearts. We're coming on in. We're at 30 right now, you guys. Let me see those hearts when you come on in. If you guys have been stuck, if you've been feeling unmotivated, if you have just been wanting more for yourself, no matter where you are, you don't have to be struggling right now. You don't have to be doing anything but sitting in front of your laptop right now, listening to this message that I have for you. Hey, Antoinette. Hello, beautiful. Thank you for coming on with us. You guys share this live. We're going to get started in just a few. We're just setting the atmosphere right now. We are setting the atmosphere before we begin. Welcome to day one of our Shift Me Transformation Challenge. I'm your coach, Miss Fit Britt. As you guys are coming on in, put in the comments what you're grateful for today. And also type, I am ready to shift. I am ready to shift, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. Oh, I'm just going to give you a brief overview. We have three days starting today. We will be live at 6 p.m. Um, tomorrow as well, Saturday, as well as Sunday, 6 p.m. All right. Now, this is a challenge. So this is not for you just to just sit here and just listen like this, right? This is for you to participate. I am going to be challenging you, all right, to participate with me these next three days, all right? So I want you guys to listen up. Let me make sure you guys can still see and hear me okay. Let me see those hearts as you're coming in. All right, Roger said, I'm ready to shift. All right, Angela said, I'm ready to shift. Let me see those hearts, you guys. So we have amazing topics. Today we are talking about mindset shift, all right? And just before we begin, I just wanted to just tell you why I started this challenge, you guys. I wanted to do this challenge because I realized that um, right now, not only are are we in maybe the most craziest year we've ever had, right? But many of us have been in um, a, a downtime right now. We've been in a downtime. We've been able to sit during this quarantine and and just really reevaluate where we are right now. Um, some of us, our lives have completely changed uh, upside down right in front of us. Our schedules have changed, you guys. And many of us are looking for just a, a new mindset, a new shift. So I'm going to be talking about today, how do we get to that mindset shift? What do we need to be doing every day to make sure we are keeping our mind above water, to make sure that we are at peace with ourselves, to make sure that our family and our environment around us is positive, right? The world around us right now, it is going crazy. But if we find ourselves doing what the rest of the world is doing, we're going to find ourselves getting overwhelmed. We're going to find ourselves getting just down and out, right? But if you look at the bigger picture, every last one of us that is on this live right now, we have a purpose. 
We have a purpose and a gift that we have to fulfill. And right now, if you are sitting here listening to me right now and you are still looking for that purpose, you're still looking for that shift, right? You want more for yourself, whether it's physical goals, right? Whether if you want a, a new body, you want to look different in your clothes, you want to feel better in your clothes, whether you want a shift in your finances, whether you want a shift in your personal life, right? In your family life. You guys, this challenge is going to take you to that next level. It is going to propel you so that when we go into 2021, we are bigger, we are better, we are stronger, all right? So let me see if you guys are with me. Are y'all ready to shift? Put in the comments, I am ready to shift, you guys. I am ready to shift. Let me see who else is on. Tammy, hello, Tammy. We got the misfits in the building. Hey, Giovanni, hello, beautiful. You guys share this live, share this live. Hey, Chanel. So I'm just so thankful that each of you all took the time out to join me today on our first day to shift, you guys. That's what time it is. I don't know about you, but I am excited. Are y'all excited to shift? Like put in the comments, I am excited. Put in the comments, I am excited to shift. So you guys, I wanna share my story with you, right? And really, this pandemic, this quarantine has been life-changing for me, okay? And I want to share with you why. I want to share with you the tools that I have been using that God has literally put into my lap, you guys, that has literally transformed my mind and shifted me, right? And I want you all to have that same shift. So I am excited. So bear with me because, listen, y'all. Get ready, get your notepad, get your pen out. All right, let me see what you guys are saying. Hello, Stacy. Oh, put in the comments, I'm excited. Let me see those hearts. Now, I want you guys at any point of this day one, if you're watching the replay as well, type replay, hashtag replay. I want you guys to uh, screenshot me at any point throughout this uh, live video. Screenshot me at any point throughout this live video, all right? This is one of your homework assignments for today, all right? Whoever participates the most, matter of fact, I will be pulling out a name, a random name from today, whoever completes their homework to see who's gonna be the winner tomorrow on day two. I will announce the winner tomorrow when we do day two, all right? For whoever participates with their homework assignment. So your first homework assignment is to post a screenshot, all right, at any time during this live, take a screenshot, and I want you to put either on your personal page, tag me on Instagram, tag me on Facebook, you guys, and I want you guys to type, I am shifting, all right, I am shifting with Misfit Brit, right? So that is one a homework assignment today. So keep that in mind. And I'll remind you as we as we continue on, you guys. Um, so just remember that at any point of this video, make sure that you take a screenshot. Make sure I ain't looking crazy. Let me know if I need to pull a little curl back. <laughs> but take a screenshot and post I am shifting with Misfit Brit on your page. Tag me. All right. So you guys, I'm sharing my story with you because it has completely changed. I went from having a lack mindset before this uh, pandemic happened, right? Right before 2020 got here, I literally asked God, I said, Lord, I need clarity. I need vision. Why did I need vision? Why did I need a new shift, a new change? Because I found myself doing the same thing over and over and over again, you guys. I was waking up just living, right? Has anybody, like, please, let's be transparent on this live today. Has anybody woke up and you just feel like you are just existing, right? Y'all, I was just existing. Do you hear me? I literally was waking up and I, I just stopped and I said, Brittany, like, it's, it's got to be more to the point where I, I, I lost my belief in myself. I lost my passion. Like, I was literally saying, I don't even think I want to train anymore, right? Have you found yourself ever saying, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore? When you know without a shadow of a doubt, like this is what God put you on earth to do. Like, what are you talking about, sis? Come on now. That's why we are here on this challenge, ladies. I am here to ship you, right? Let me see what you guys are saying. Alberta said, yes. Sharon, yes. Let, yes. Have you ever been in that space, right? And, and if, if you haven't, that's fine. You may, you may feel like, I just want even more, right? Even the richest people in the world want more for themselves. 
So why can't we have that too, right? We are rich. Everybody say, I am rich. My mind is successful, right? So I literally was waking up feeling like I was just existing, you guys, right? I looked up, I looked at my bank account. I, I was like, man, I am, this, this is not good, right? I, I was looking at uh, an overview of where I was. I'm like, it, it literally hit me. I was like, I, I'm in the same place I was like last year, like no movement, right? And I'm like, what is going on? So, so I realized like I had to get it together, right? When, when, when we find our finances off, when we find our physical life and our mindset is off and we're in that down and out phase, there's, there's a blockage going on. Either we gotta, we gotta tap into that physical, we gotta start working out, we gotta start drinking more water, we gotta start, we gotta start meal prepping, eating right, or, or we gotta look into where, I, where our spiritual is. Are we waking up in the morning praying? Are we doing our affirmations? Are we are we doing what makes us feel good and fueling our body, right? Is our mental is our mental on point? Or are we constantly telling ourselves I'm not good enough? I'm not cut out for this, right? I used to think to myself that I wasn't good enough. Oh, I didn't have it. When I am a darn great fitness professional, right? But I forgot. Have you ever forgot? Like, put in the comments. Let me know. Talk to me. I'm, I'm listening, y'all. Talk to me. I want you guys to participate. Make sure I'm not just talking to myself. Have you ever felt like I just need more, right? So I literally, when 2020 got here, I said, Lord, give me clarity. What I wasn't doing, you guys, the reason why I felt down and out and I felt like I, I lost my passion, I wasn't really moving forward was because... I stopped writing goals down. I stopped looking at what I wanted my vision to be for my life, right? Not just for the year, five years down the road. I didn't know where I was going because I wasn't thinking about it. I didn't put my mind there. I didn't put my energy there, right? You guys, this challenge is more than just about physical, right? We are tapping into why we keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, and we're getting nowhere. Why is that happening? Why is that happening, right? It doesn't have to be just about looking good in a bathing suit or looking good in your trunks or looking good in uh, um, the, the dress that you want to wear or that you desire. But what is our mind saying? What are we telling ourselves every day when we look in the mirror? Are we telling ourselves, I love you? right? Everybody right now, put in the comments. I want you to put, I love you and put your name, put, put your name. I love you, Brittany. All right. I love you, Alberta. I love you, Sharon. I love you, Charnel. Let me see. Let me see you guys typing in. I love you and what your name is, right? When is the last time you told yourself, I love you? We're so used to being caught up, making everything perfect. Everything is not going to be perfect, but you better believe the shift is going to come when you start to believe in yourself again. And we continue to believe in ourselves, right? You may already believe in yourself right now. And I'm clapping you up. Let's go. But if you don't, if you forgot who you are, then I'm about to give you the tools and the strategies to make sure that when 2021 gets here and the year after that gets here, you know exactly what to do to pick yourself back up again. You know exactly what to do to make sure that you're not falling off, right? So I want everybody right now, pull your pen and your piece of paper out, okay? The first thing that we are going to do, first of all, let me see if you guys have been saying, I love you, I love you. Come on, let me see those names. Come on, yes, Antoinette says, I love you. Giovanni says, I love you. Yes, Tammy, I love you. I love that. Yes, let me see those hearts. Let me see those hearts. My video may be a little dragged from, from what you guys are saying, but keep it coming, you guys. So when is the last time that you told yourself, I love you, right? So, so that shift for me happened when I said enough was enough. I was tired of not seeing change. I was tired of not moving forward, right? So I had to literally sit down, right? I had to evaluate where i was everybody say evaluate put evaluate in the comments evaluate all right 
So what does that mean? What does that mean, evaluate? What that means is you have to look at where you are right now on Friday, November 27th, 2020. Are you happy where you are right now? If you are, put happy down, right? Put happy on your notepad. If you are, if you want more for yourself, write that down. What does that look like? All right, write that down. What does that look like? All right, yes, Charnel said evaluate. Everybody type evaluate. Hey, Tia, you guys put evaluate. We have to evaluate where we are, right? So with doing that, you have to say, where am I at financially? Am I moving forward? Do I see a shift changing or am I still stuck in the same place I was five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, okay? Where are you? Do you feel good about where you are right now? If so, write that down, right? If you feel good and you are excited about what's about to happen, write that down as well, all right? So it, it's so important that we have that the physical balance, the spiritual balance, the emotional balance. Because I'm realizing, you guys, when we sit down and we evaluate where we are, if there's something off, if you've been sitting around the house depressed right now, if you've been sitting around the house and it just seems like everything is being is overwhelming right now, everything right now is just falling all apart, unexpected bills are coming in front of you left and right, right? Something, what's going on? Write it down. So if you put physical spiritual and mental are they all three balanced are they all three balanced right now right so for me i realized when i was feeling down and out and i was at my lowest of all lowest guess what i wasn't working out and i'm a fitness professional i'm teaching on working out every day but i myself wasn't working out i would go and train my clients at the gym be there all day and then get my own workout in. I didn't tell y'all that when I was training you, but you know, that is what happened. I, I would leave and go back home. I wasn't doing the work that I needed to do to make sure that I stay fueled up and elevated to show up and serve. Ladies, we got to make sure that we are filling our cup, that we are filling ourselves up so we can show up and serve for our family, for our job, for our work, right? For our career, for our business. Are y'all with me? Like, come on, let me see some hearts. Y'all, I don't wanna be talking to myself. Let me see what y'all saying. <laughs> yes, Tia, right? So we gotta make sure that we are evaluating where we are, number one. And when we evaluate, we need to look at that paper and see, is our physical off? Is our mental off? Is our spiritual off? Do we need to be saying more, more affirmations? Do we need to be praying more? Do we need to be uh, writing in our journal more every day, you guys? Setting goals, right? So this is the next thing I want you to put down. Number one is evaluate. Number two is set goals. Everybody put set goals in the comments. Put set goals in the comments. Y'all, I'm feeling, ooh, I'm feeling your energy tonight. I'm feeling your energy. Yes. This is day one, you guys. We are talking about how to have that mindset shift, all right? So we go into 2021, killing it, slaying, okay? Slaying the day. Y'all, I hear you. Let me see. Angela said, I have before. Yes. Marlene said, amen. Yes. Let me hear you, Giovanni. Crack it up. Yes. So listen, I'm telling you guys, we have to make sure that we are setting goals. Back when I was struggling, when my mindset was in a lack mindset, in a survival mode mindset, feeling like I don't know what's about to happen next. I was not setting goals for myself. Like I said, I was waking up, it was just another day. I was waking up, it was just another day, right? I was just existing. The shift happened when I started evaluating. I literally took a day and sat down and couldn't believe where I was. Was it shocking? Was it painful? that I had to realize, whoa, Brit, listen, we got to do something, we got to do better, right? And it's okay, everybody put in the comments, I have to do better, I will do better, right? Put that in the comments, because this is the shift that is happening, ladies. This is the shift that is happening, and this is the shift that we do in our program. 
This is I'm talking about to get our bodies to that next level. You better believe that's not just working out and, and, and eating chicken breast and broccoli all day. <laughs> no, no. Robbie, who you guys just saw the other day, who won first place at 50 years old and won her pro car, that wasn't just because she was working out and, and, and meal prepping every day. She had a mindset shift that occurred. She had to believe in herself again from going through perimental pause to realizing, oh no, I, I this this is not what 50 is about. She said, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I didn't turn 50 to die. Right? We didn't, we didn't turn our age. We, we are not our age right now to die. We are here to live, right? Y'all coming on through here. Let's go, Roger, yes. Roger said, don't forget the one fella here. Yeah, Roger is our one fella here. Roger, we talking to you too today. <laughs> but I am definitely, I am, I am here to speak to the ladies. Roger, we gonna hold you down too. But listen, ladies, I want to serve you today and show you the shift that I literally went through myself. The guy said, Brittany, you, you were trying to do it by yourself. You were trying to do it the way you wanted to do it. And I've been, I've been holding this in your hand, in my hand, waiting to give it to you, right? How many of y'all are waiting on a blessing that you've been praying for? It is right in front of you. But you got to have that mindset shift and believe in yourself, right? Kylie said, I will do better. Yes, y'all, let's go. We will do better. We are not going into 2021 the way we came into 2020. We will now have vision. We will now be prepared. We will now believe in ourselves. Are y'all with me? Let's go. It is time to shift. I am not leaving anybody behind. Y'all coming right with me, right? So you have to set goals. I wasn't setting goals before. Now, and I'm not talking about setting goals just on a vision board. I'm talking about you are literally, you have your journal and you have it and you're writing your journal in your journal every day, right? When you set those goals right now, I want everybody to type in the comments three goals that you want to accomplish, that you will accomplish before 2020 ends. Put three goals down that you will accomplish before 2020 ends, right? Now, if you are if you are writing those goals down right now and you don't believe that it's happening, then I need you to erase it, rewrite it again, right? Because if you wrote it down and you didn't have energy behind it, if you wrote it down and you didn't have belief behind it, it doesn't matter if this is a goal for your physical aspects of life, for your, for your spiritual, for your mental, write it down. And then ask yourself, what will my life look like if I accomplish this goal? How would I feel? And, and also ask yourself, what will my life look like if I don't hit this goal? Will you still be stuck? Will you still be down and out? Will you still be telling yourself those limiting beliefs that's been stopping you from getting to the goal in the first place, right? I, I talk about this a lot. What is the limiting belief? That's you telling yourself, I'm not good enough. I'm not cut out for this. That's you telling yourself, oh, I don't have enough education. That's you telling yourself, oh, I have... I still got all this stomach to lose. It's not going anywhere. I've been doing the same thing over and over again. I haven't seen any changes. I've tried this. I've tried that. I've even gotten surgery and nothing is working. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so disgusted when I look in the mirror. Have you told yourself that? Have you found yourself saying these negative thoughts to yourself? Right? That's the only thing that's stopping you from getting to your goal, from making it happen. All right, let me see what you guys are saying. Antoinette says, start working out. Then, yes, Diane said, I will, sorry, I will lose 10 pounds. I need my glasses on, y'all. <laughs> I will work out. Yes, keep them coming, you guys. Let me see those goals coming on through here. Keep them coming. Goals are powerful. If you don't set goals, you will find yourself working for someone else who has goals. I'm going to say that again. If you don't set goals for your life, 
If you don't become the president of your life, you will be working for someone else who has goals, right? Now, I'm not saying that in a negative way, right? We all have jobs, we have, we have careers, we have our businesses of what we're doing. But if you don't set your own goals for what you want, you're going to be working for somebody else who has goals. And guess what? You're going to be you're going to be increasing their life. But because you're not tapping into fueling your spiritual, your physical, your mental, you have nothing left. Now you're drained, right? You guys, if we keep going, 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 doing, doing, doing for others, and we don't take the time out to prioritize ourself, our life, we are drained. We're coming home like everybody else after a long day of work, feeling tired and overwhelmed and overworked, straight to the bed or straight to the couch to lay down and just grab some fast food, right? Y'all talk to me if y'all hear me. Were you there before? Are you there right now? Talk to me, all right? It's real, you guys. We can't keep doing what everybody else is doing. We can't keep coming home and just laying on the couch, turning on the TV for the next Netflix show to come on, right? We got to start coming home. And now what, we, what are we doing? We're setting goals. We're writing down what we want our day to look like tomorrow, right? When is the last time we wrote down what we want the day to look like tomorrow or today? When I started doing this, you guys, and I do it every day now, oh my gosh, the atmosphere is crazy. Everything that I say that I want to have happen is now happening, right? It is real. Let me hear y'all. Y'all fired up today. I just see y'all comments just coming, coming, coming on through here. Yes, Sharon said, get back to working out. Yes, eat better. Um, learn yoga. Yes, Giovanni said, okay, straight to the fridge, right? You guys, we can... Listen, and it's okay if you enjoyed yourself and indulged yesterday on Thanksgiving, right? Do not beat yourself up about if you have a leftover today. Because guess what? I had me some dressing and some macaroni and cheese today for my leftover. I'm going to be honest, right? But guess what? You better believe I'm waking up tomorrow morning. I'm hitting that cardio. I told my girls that in our program, the, the, the Misfits and the Transformers, listen, ladies, en enjoy yourself for Thanksgiving. But you better believe you better be up this morning doing your cardio, burning off those calories. No, you are not going to get fat from just one day of a cheat meal. All right? So stop beating yourself up. Ladies, stop beating yourself up about what you did not do or should have, could have did. We beat ourselves up too much, too much to the point that we stop believing in ourselves. We beat ourselves up so much and we put this big expectation on ourselves that we, we, we stop our passion, right? We, we got, we're doing better. We're shifting y'all, we are shifting. Yes, <laughs> Harry said we're addressing though, <laughs> crazy. Listen, you guys, do not beat yourself up. We got to evaluate where we are. If you see that where you are right now is where you were last year, if you see that where you are right now is where you were a year ago, or if you see that where you are right now is improving and increasing, well, let's go. But this is how you keep increasing. This is how you keep moving if you do have a month that's just like, oh man, what's going on? And last month I was killing it. Now I feel like, Ooh, I lost myself again. What, uh, all right, we got to evaluate. We got to evaluate. You guys already put in the comments, evaluate. If you're watching a replay right now, type replay. If you're watching live right now, let me see some hearts. Evaluate where you are. Everybody say, evaluate where I am. Evaluate where I am. Number two, we're setting goals. If we do not set goals for ourselves, what happens? We're going to find ourselves working for somebody else who has goals. So now you have to be the president of your own life. What do you want to see your life look like before 2020 ends? Not for just 2021. What do you want to see your life look like before 2020 ends? Because let me tell you guys something. Matter of fact, what do you? what is your goal for tomorrow? Before you lay your head on your pillow tonight, 
What is your goal? Is there something that you didn't accomplish yet today on your list? Or do you need to put at least one thing on your goal sheet right now that you want to accomplish before you go to bed? Whether that's 20 jumping jacks. Let me burn a little of these calories off that I ate, right? Whether that's 20 sit-ups right now before you go to bed. All right. Whether that's you just sitting down with your pen and your pad and you're at peace right now, just writing your goals, writing your goals. What do you, y'all, this is so powerful. This was the shift for me, you guys. And I kid you not, it has changed my life and I am excited. Oh, I'm excited. Charnel, that's me. I could be doing so good one month and then fall off. Yes, y'all. And that's, guess what? It's going to happen. Everybody's not perfect. Y'all share this live right now. If, if you know somebody that needs to shift, if you know another lady out here, just share on your page because somebody, it may just help somebody, you guys. I am here to show up and serve right now. I literally, y'all, I pray before this live. I, this is bigger than me, y'all. I really, I'm excited about what I do because, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I was not supposed to be crying. Oh my God. Oh, y'all. There was a time where I lost my belief, right? So I'm excited because it is back, right? It may not, it may take a couple of, of years. It may take a couple of months. Y'all, it may take a week to pull yourself back again, right? And that's okay. That is okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. But to get out of that, we got to evaluate where we are. We got to set goals. Everybody, number three is we have to write in our journal. Everybody say journal. Journal is number three. Number one is evaluate. If you just jumped on, number one is evaluate. This is how we make that mindset shift. Number two is set goals. And number three is journal. Journaling every day has changed my life. I am journaling in that spiral, you guys, that I just showed you in that journal, what my goals are. Every day I wake up in the morning, I'm looking to see what I have set for the day, right? We can control the way we want our day to look. Stop going to work mad. Stop coming off of work mad. Stop Stop uh, being around your family members mad or frustrated because you aren't doing what you're supposed to do, right? Because we aren't doing what we're supposed to do. Everybody say, it's not my fault, right? Put in the comments. Everybody say, it is not my fault. If you're walking around angry, mad, or frustrated, or you know somebody around you is angry, mad, or frustrated, why is that? Why is that, right? It's because, listen, follow me, y'all. It's because we have not dealt with things that have happened to us in the past from our childhood that is still coming up and triggering us in our adult life, y'all. Who do you still need to forgive? And number one, let's start with this. Let's all forgive ourselves. Everybody in the comments right now, I want you to type your name and say, Brittany, I forgive you. Whatever your name is, type your name and type, I forgive you. What, what am I forgiving? Brittany, I'm forgiving all those times that you said that you weren't good enough. I'm forgiving you for saying all of those times that you felt like you weren't cut out for this. I'm forgiving you for those times where you just sat there and you were doing nothing because you lost your passion right? I forgive you for saying those negative thoughts. I forgive you for saying that you, that, that I was stupid, right? Whatever it is, whatever you've been telling yourself, whatever negative thought you've been telling yourself, right? Oh, I, I'm so disgusted. I, I can't stand myself when I look in the mirror. You, you Ladies, what have you been telling yourself? What is the self-sabotage that's been that's been bringing you down from getting to your goal, right? Yes, Joanna, I see you. Yes, Alberta, journal, 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 right? Who, who do you still need to forgive and let go? If somebody hurt you in the past and you still haven't forgiven them, 
That's one of the reasons why there's so much, so much chaos going on. And your spiritual life and your physical life and your mental life is not balanced because you're still holding on to those things, those people or those places that you haven't forgave. Y'all, when we forgive, oh my gosh, you have to give yourself a gift and not bring that back up. You can't say, oh, you know, when, when we're taught, like even as children to forgive somebody, let's say somebody hit us and, and they say, oh, I'm sorry. And we say, oh, I forgive you, right? We're used to, we're used to doing, uh, you know, a little forgiveness like that, right? I'm talking about truly forgiving somebody that hurt you, may have said something to you that really hurt your feelings, right? A boss, a coworker, a family member. We've all been through it before. Have you forgiven them? Have you forgiven yourself for thinking those thoughts every time that person shows up again? Or maybe you see somebody else and now that person looks like the person that you mad at. So now you screaming at this person, right? <laughs> Are y'all with me? Y'all talk to me. I know. Listen, am I the only one that has dealt with that, right? Y'all, when, when this, when all of this is messed up, you better believe I'm not about to be losing 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 50 pounds. Because my mind, I'm still, I'm still telling myself I'm not good enough. I'm still telling myself, oh, I'm mad at you. Oh, I'm mad at this person. It's not anybody's fault. It is not your fault. But what we have to do is we have to take action. Don't beat yourself up about shoulda, coulda, woulda. Right now we are taking action. What do I have to do so that when I wake up in the morning, I'm positive, I feel good, I'm at peace, I'm excited. I'm not worried about where money is coming from. I'm not worried about uh, if I'm gonna be able to lose this weight that I wanna lose, right? But are we praying more? Are we taking action of, of more prayer? Are we taking action of journaling, writing down our goals? Are we taking action of, of, of evaluating where we are, right? Are y'all with me? Like this is day one, y'all. We are kicking off this mindset set shift, y'all. Put in the comments, mindset shift, if y'all are still with me. This is mindset shift. Put in the comments, mindset shift. And don't forget to tag and share this video right now, you guys. Um, I'm super excited because when I started setting those goals, you guys, when I evaluated where I was, right, when I started to, to make sure that I was now having balance, my spiritual, my mental, my physical, right, when I started to journal every single day, everything just, all the opportunities just started falling into my lap, things that I was waiting to have happen. 10 years ago, five years ago, right? Just now started to show up immediately. I'm talking about going from a negative bank account to being able to do 6K in a week. How did that happen? How did that happen, right? I'm telling you guys, this can happen immediately for you when you just sit down and quiet yourself. Take one moment. Of, of of getting yourself away from the craziness. Go to the bathroom, act like you're on the toilet, <laughs> okay? Close the door. Get your journal, pull your journal into the bathroom with you and start writing. Start writing down where you are. Who, who do you need to forgive? What do you see yourself? What, do, what does your life look like when you are living in what you desire, right? What does that look like when you are living and what you desire. Doesn't it feel good? Come on, y'all. Kylie said mindset shift. Yes. Francis, mindset shift. Alberta. Yes, it's not your fault. So we got to take back our life, y'all. We have to take back our life. When you do that, when you write down on that sheet of paper, you guys, those negative thoughts, you know, if a negative thought comes up and you're walking around the house, Somebody made you mad. You find yourself cursing somebody out. I need you to take that journal out and start writing down right now in that moment. How do you feel? Why do you feel this right now? It's not the other person that made you mad because nobody can make us mad. We get to decide how we react and how we respond, right? 
Why is that happening? Why do I feel angry and frustrated and mad right now? Why do I feel sad? Why do I feel like crying right now, right? Most of the times when we feel those emotions is because we're either not doing something that we should be doing, right? Or we just haven't done it yet. We just haven't done it yet. Or we haven't made that decision to say, you know what? Let me just let this person be. I'm just going to be quiet. I'm a journal. Because see, the old us used to react and respond right away, right? Y'all stay with me. This is more than this is more than just about a physical transformation, right? This is a mindset shift that has to take place in order for you to be successful in any area of your life. Shifting is about what you're telling yourself every day so that you can start having abundance all around you. You look around and you see other people and you see things that you want and you're like, man, why can't I have that? You can have it. It's right in front of you. You just have to believe it. You just have to start doing these steps every day because that's the only thing that's separating you between the next person that you inspire to be like. It's because they're taking action and you haven't done so yet. But don't beat yourself up about it. Don't beat yourself up about it. We are taking action now, right? We're writing down our journal today, right now, when we get off this live, evaluating where we are, setting our goals before 2020 ends. What does that look like? Claiming it, speaking it, believing it, not writing it down saying, oh man, I wish, I wish this happens. Oh, I hope this happens. Oh man, it, this, is a, this is a real far stretch. I never did it before, but I don't know. I'm just going to write it down. No, absolutely not. Uh-uh, period. No, no, and no again. If you write down that goal and you don't have energy behind it and you don't have belief and you're not envisioning you seeing yourself on that stage, you seeing yourself in the job position that you've been praying for, you seeing yourself in the body that you have always imagined yourself in, if you don't see it, if you're not speaking it and claiming it and, and waking up and pulling that journal out every day and you're speaking it out, out loud because your words have power, right? Your words are telling your brain what to do. Your words frame your world. Everybody put that in the comments. Your words frame, all right? Your word, your world. Your words frame your world. So what you speak, it becomes you. Are you now speaking life over yourself, y'all? We got to start taking back our life. This is how we shift. This is how we shift our mindset. This is how all the ladies that are coming in to, to our snapback challenge, into our misfit program, this is how we are snapping back. And ladies are losing 10 pounds in their first three weeks. And ladies are literally transforming their body. Things that they've done over and over and over again in the past that didn't work is now working. It's now working because... These are the strategies that we are doing every day and we're practicing. We're getting better and better and better. So you guys, I am sharing with you tools that have shifted my life, that are shifting everyone's life. Who does it? Who does this work? I'm not the first person doing this. You guys, I am sharing with you what God has literally allowed me to now see because I made the decision to finally say, you know what? I am doing your will. I am walking in my purpose. I'm not going to sit here and, and say I am in lack. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm in survival mode. I'm not going to sit here and, and have that mindset of, of being without, right? Yes, y'all on fire right now. I see y'all. Y'all comments are coming on through here. Let me see some hearts right now. Let's take a heart break, y'all. Let me see some hearts. Come on, come on. Let me see some hearts. Let me see that love, you guys. Y'all, I am excited. This is the mindset shift that we need right now in this time. We made it. We've been making it. If you look back, you guys, when the pandemic first started to where we are now, look at us. We are here. We are right now on this live together, ready to shift, right? Getting ready. We are about to implement 
these strategies. Now, if you guys listen to this live and you don't go back to do this work, this daily work, then you are going to find yourself all over the place, all this chaos. You're not at peace. But if you start evaluating where you are, if you start setting goals, right? If you start journaling every day, you're going to start having the desire that you want. You're going to start feeling good. You're going to be like, what in the world is going on? Oh my gosh, everything that I've been wanting is here now. As if you never had to wait for it. Y'all, when you do this work, the wait, the wait that we thought we were in the whole time waiting, when this stuff happens, oh my gosh, it's as if it, you never waited. The shift happens immediately. Everybody say immediately. Everybody say shift me immediately. Shift me immediately. Shift me immediately, you guys. Oh my gosh, yes. Joanna said we posture it up. What does that mean? That means you sitting up tall. You got your chin up. We are. I love that word. Y'all, we are posturing up right now. We are posturing up. Everybody say shift me immediately and posture up. Posture up, you guys. If you're just jumping on, you can take a screenshot at any time through this live. We are almost out of here, you guys. Take a screenshot. I want you guys to uh, tag me on your social media pages, on your personal page. And I want you to, to say, I'm shifting with Misfit Brit. All right. If you need to see how to spell it, it's M-S-F-I-T-B-R-I-T-T, -T, you guys. Um, I'm super excited, you guys. I realize that this challenge is so important right now. It's so important because there is no reason why anybody has to feel like they are down and out. Like what they want can't happen. There is no reason that anybody has to feel that they can't have better and more for themselves, right? Because we all going up. We are not leaving anybody behind. We are all posturing up. We are all shifting immediately. Because now we are speaking positive affirmations to ourselves, right? So before we get out of here, you guys, and before I give you the rest of your homework for tonight, all right? If you do the homework, you guys, if you participate, Right after this live, I'm going to I'm going to post. All right. I'm going to post the thread for your homework. That's going to give you more uh, clarification on what to do. You want you're going to post your homework right underneath the picture that I post. All right. Tomorrow, when we go live again at 6 p.m., I'm going to pull a name from that random list of everybody who participated in your homework tonight. And you guys are going to, whoever, uh, who, whose ever name is Pool is going to win a prize tomorrow, okay, for day two. Now, listen, before we leave this live, right now, talk to me. How do y'all feel right now? How do you feel? How do you feel just listening, knowing that you can have the shift that you are desiring? What do you feel right now? Like, do you guys feel good? Does anybody still feel stuck? Like, put that in the comments. If you still feel stuck, put stuck. If you feel like you feel better, you feel encouraged, you feel a little bit stronger, like, put that in the comments. Let me hear from you. You guys, because I am excited. I want you guys to be just as excited as I am. Y'all, God is real and he is working in our lives every single day. Like I said, in this pandemic, We've been making it. Everybody say, I will prosper in this pandemic. I love that. I love saying that. I will prosper in this pandemic. Write that down. I, I will prosper in this pandemic. All right. Tia says she feels motivated. Francis said, oh, they're coming so fast. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Francis said, I feel excited. Danny says, I feel motivated. Fallon. Fallon says she still feels stuck. Fallon, I want you to stop after this video is over with. I don't know if you just jumped on or not, but I want you to, number one, evaluate where you are. Write down on that sheet of paper where you are right now. Why do you feel stuck? What is it that you desire? Write that on a piece of paper. Also, write down what have you been telling yourself that's stopping you from getting to that goal, Fallon. Fallon, if you, got, if you have to literally start uh, weeping with tears, let it out. Ladies on this call, let it out. Birdie said, I will prosper in this pandemic. Yes, Birdie. I love that. I will prosper in this pandemic. Hey, Robbie. 
Angela Oliver said, I will prosper in this pandemic. All right. You guys right now post what you feel. How do you feel right now? Do you feel encouraged? Do you feel motivated? Do you still feel stuck? Fallon, the only reason why that's being feeling stuck is still there is because there's some blockage. You got to make sure that today when you get off that live, off of, off of this live, everybody write down where you are. What do you desire? And start saying that to yourself every single day, you guys. Start saying that to yourself every single day. So that way when you start speaking it, you arrest those negative thoughts. Now you are arresting those negative thoughts. When you keep telling yourself, I'm not good enough, when you keep telling yourself, I'm not cut out, out for this, you have to immediately stop that thought in, the, in its trap. Take that negative thought, turn it into a positive thought, right? Y'all, it's so powerful when you do that. It's so powerful when you do that. I want you guys to know right now that when you start shifting those negative thoughts into positive thoughts, it's, gonna, it's going to become you, right? It's going to become you. Yes, Jonas said, I feel... I feel lifted. Yes, I love that. So I want you guys to repeat after me, all right? Ladies, I want you to repeat after me. These are some affirmations that I want you guys to start speaking to yourself every single day, all right? The first one is, I love and accept myself. Everybody say, I love and accept myself. Feel free to write these down in the comments as well so you can remember them. I love and accept myself. Number two, I am grateful for my family. I am grateful for my family. Number three, I am worthy, all right? Everybody put love in the comments, love, right? Next thing, we ask, we're going to declare peace. So right now, everybody say, I am of peace. I am of peace. I am surrounded by peace, all right? I am surrounded by peace, all right? Everybody say, my life is filled with health. My life is filled with health, right? If you've been feeling down and out, you've been feeling bloated and you've been feeling just tired all the time. Now I want you to start saying my life is filled with health. All right. Everybody say my immune system is healthy. My immune system is healthy. My body is fit and strong. My body is fit and strong. I am grateful for my body. Right. I am grateful for my body. You guys, so many people did not wake up this morning. So we have to be grateful and thankful that we have another chance to live. I just had a family member yesterday that passed away on Thanksgiving day, you guys. And it, it just, it shocked me because I'm like, wow, we, tomorrow is not promised, right? So, so the next one I want you guys to say is, I am attracting great opportunities. I am attracting great opportunities. All right. The next one is I am highly successful in all areas. All right. I am highly successful in all areas. All right. The next one is success and abundance flows through me. Success and abundance flows through me. All right. Hey, Sky. All right. The next one is I am I am a magnet for money. All right. I am a magnet for money. I have money because I am a giver and a server. I have money because I am a giver and a server. You guys, if we are not doing, helping others, being passionate about showing up and doing more, don't expect our finances to increase. All right. The next one, I have, a, I have an abundance mindset. I have an abundance mindset. All right, you guys, make sure you guys are typing these affirmations in the comments so you remember them. I have an abundance mindset and we're almost out of here. I embrace new streams of income. I embrace new streams of income. All right, yes, y'all, are y'all with me? Last one, money is flowing to me easily and effortlessly, you guys. This is the last one. Money is flowing to me easily and effortlessly. All right. So these are affirmations that I want you guys to start speaking to yourself every day so that you can shift your life. So you can shift your mind, your body and your spirit. Right. This is how we have the body that we've always wanted. This is how we don't go back to doing those old habits every day. And we look up and we're still the same weight that we were 10 years ago. Right. 
This is how we get out of feeling from being tired all the time, for, for feeling unmotivated. This is how we go to that next level and we, we thrive and we push forward, y'all. We are applying pressure. This is how you apply pressure every single day. You are no longer telling yourself that you're not good enough, right? If you've been telling yourself, I'm afraid to fail, put that on your journal. Put what you've been telling yourself. What are those negative thoughts? I am afraid to fail. And now you're going to say, I am successful. So you're going to cross out, I am afraid to fail. And now you're going to put on that journal, I am successful. And now you're going to say it. And now you're going to look in a mirror and you're going to say, I am successful. And you're going to become successful immediately. That's how it happens. That's the shift, you guys. Oh my gosh, that is the shift. That is the mindset shift. So I'm telling you guys, oh, I'm so excited. I thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up today, for participating, you guys. This is a challenge for you to challenge yourself, to challenge yourself to do this daily work because it works. It works. Oh, it works. Denny said, I am attracting great opportunities. Yes, Robbie, applying pressure. Pressure makes diamonds. That's right, Robbie. Pressure makes diamonds. You are a diamond. We were born to be great. We have everything that we need. Everybody say, I will not have a lack mindset. I will not have a lack mindset, right? You guys, I love you all. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the shift that's about to happen in your life, all right? This was day one, you guys. We just completed day one for the mindset shift that's going to take us into 21 stronger, 2021 stronger. All right. So you all's homework for day one. Listen up. Your homework is to write down underneath the thread, the post that I am about to immediately put up after this live on my page. I want you guys to post underneath that thread, post underneath the post that I'm about to put up. The homework is write down. All right. You can write this down on a sheet of paper or you can type it in the comments. The negative things that you have been telling yourself. What are the negative things that you have been telling yourself that you find yourself saying every day or that you find yourself saying every other day or sporadically? And then I want you to write down underneath those negative thoughts. If you're writing on a sheet of paper or in your journal, you can cross it out. If you're writing in the comments, I want you to put underneath that. Okay, what the positive thought to that, to that is. So if you said, I'm afraid to fail as a negative thought, now your positive thought is, I am successful. You guys got that? So you're going to write down, what is that self-sabotage? What have you been telling yourself? And now turn that into a new shift, into a new mindset, into a new word that's positive that you want to see. What is the change that you want to see? All right. Put that in the thread that I'm going to post right after. Make sure you participate. Make sure you screenshot. All right. Screenshot this live, you guys. Put in your on your uh, social media pages. I am shifting with Misfit Brit. Tag me on Instagram. You can find me at the real Misfit Brit. All right. I'll put that in the comments. The real Misfit Brit. And then, of course, on Facebook, I am at Brittany Ramsey, okay? So I am putting the real, I'm typing this right now. Sorry, I'm actually in all caps. This is Instagram, all right? And then, of course, uh, Facebook, where you guys are now. You guys tag me on your personal pages as well. I also want you guys to know, tomorrow is day two. Do not be late, you guys. Tomorrow, we are talking about the fitness shift. What do we need to do to have that fitness shift? All right, be prepared. Stay with me the whole time, you guys. Each day, I will be pulling out a winner, all right? Day three, we are gonna be talking about that nutrition shift, all right? So do not expect to show up and win something on day three if you did not do your homework for day two, all right? You have to watch the live and participate with us 
throughout all three days, okay? 6 p.m. Central, we are back again right here. Bring your notepad. Bring another family member or friend on this live with us. We hit to 30 today. Let's make it to 50 tomorrow, all right? And let's just go up from there. Anybody that can receive this message, I want them to hear it, you guys. I'm excited to share. I'm excited for what God is doing right now. Like, y'all, we are shifting. Are y'all with me? Yes, guys, say I'm shifting. Everybody, let me see some hearts before we close out. All right, make sure you are here tomorrow at six on time. All right, make sure you are doing the homework. I'm about to post it now, so make sure you look out for it. All right, and I am also going to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, share it with you now. I am going to post in the comments. Let me know if you guys see this. This is a YouTube link called Lit Formations. Make sure you guys listen to this tonight. This is what I listen to in the morning. All right, every morning it is like turned up. It will turn you up. It is a bomb lit formation. I will play it right now with Alexa, but for some reason she's not pulling it up right now. Um, but I just want to close out you guys with this song by Jason Nelson, Shifting the Atmosphere. You guys, this song is just so bomb. Like it is just uh. We shifted the atmosphere today, y'all. Do y'all feel it? Do y'all feel it? Like, oh my gosh, do y'all feel it? Alexa, play Shifting the Atmosphere. Y'all, I'm telling you. Shifting the atmosphere. I'm excited. Here we go. So um, let me see if you guys can hear this. Before you guys close out and leave me and go off to eating the rest of your Thanksgiving leftovers, please do this work. You guys, please do this work. It is amazing. It will change your life. It's been changing mine. I'm so grateful for what God is doing. I'm grateful for the mentors that I have that's been helping me and teaching me these tools. Um, just know that you are shifting. You are shifting your mind, your body, your spirit. If you can hear this, if you wanna play it afterwards, it's time to shift. It's happening, y'all. It's time to shift. Let me see those hearts. Let me see those hearts. I love y'all. You guys can close out whenever you want to. You can leave from the live. We are all done. I'm so thankful that each and every one of you guys stayed on the whole time with me. Um, I'm just so excited, y'all. Shifting the atmosphere. Yes. It's smooth. It's bright. This was shifting the atmosphere. Every old is Every day is This was Y'all so thankful right now. This <laughs> move is breaking. I'm just thankful for what God is doing, y'all. <laughs> It's not about me. It's not about me. This is bigger than me, you guys. We can have this ship. We can have this ship. We deserve this ship, y'all. We deserve this ship. Y'all please deserve this ship if y'all still with me. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Y'all wasn't supposed to be crying. I'm so sorry. Ugh. I love this song, y'all. Fallon, you got this, girl. Let's go. Fallon, you will no longer be unstuck. You will no longer be stuck. All right? You would be unstuck. 
Marlene, it's time. Let's go, Marlene. Yes, you deserve this shift, y'all. Robbie, I love you more. I'm so proud of you. Oh, y'all, we got this. We deserve this shift, y'all. We deserve this shift. You deserve this shift. It's happening. It's time. Don't forget day two tomorrow. Sonia, thank you so much. Thank you guys for staying on. Day two is tomorrow. Fitness shift. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. Shift in the atmosphere. Yes. We've been making it in this pandemic. We're just getting stronger, you guys. We're gonna continue to get stronger. We don't have to be without everything that we need, everything that we want, we can have. We deserve it, it's happening. If we do this work every day, you're gonna continue to, to look up and believe in yourself, right? Shifting the atmosphere. Hey, Birdie, thank you so much, Birdie. Oh, I love you, Birdie. We love you. I love you guys. Thank you, every last one of you guys who showed up on this live, even everyone watching the replay, you guys. We made it. We just completed day one, you guys. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you do the homework. I'm going to be looking for it. I'm going to announce the winner tomorrow on day two. And stay with me the whole time as we lead into Sunday, you guys. All right. Have a great rest of your Friday evening. Love you all. See you.